Hi, so today I'm showcasing uh, the newest version, uh, probably the last version for a while, of Better Joy for Simu. This version adds uh, X input support as well as Rumble support. What that basically means is uh, that uh, Better Joy for Simu now exposes your Pro Controller as a uh, virtual Xbox controller uh, that can be used uh, system wide. So on like Steam or any other games that support uh, um, Xbox inputs. Um, this also means that you can now rebind the keys in Simu, uh, and you're not limited to the also used for buttons uh, slash axes. Uh, now to uh, get started, uh, you go on uh, you go on my GitHub. And uh, on this page, you go under releases and you download the appropriate news version. I have 64 bit, so I downloaded that. Once you download and extract that file, you're presented with this folder. Uh, in the newest version of Better Joy for Simu, you have to install a extra driver, which um, enables the use of which enables the use of the virtual Xbox controller. Uh, if you do not wish to install a driver, you can always download the older versions of Better Joy for Simu. You run the installation file as administrator and it installs. You may get a prompt that asks you whether or not you trust the driver. Just click yes. Once that's set up, uh, you can now connect your Pro Controller. So there's a button over here that you just press down and your Pro Controller starts flashing. And then you open your Bluetooth settings over here. Click to add device, Bluetooth search and here you go I just have my joy cons near me so you select the pro controller for example and it gets connected uh, and once Windows is finished setting it up which I think it is you can just run better joy for Simu by double clicking on it and that starts up at this point everything is fine uh, if you're running it for the first time it may glitch out a bit um, and Windows will pop up with that installing Xbox 360 drivers. If it does, just let it finish and then close down Better Joy for Steam and start it up again. Now that's running. Uh, with uh, Simu, if you now go over launch like the latest Simu version, go into options, gamepad settings, you should have uh, it should recognize the controller and have that selected. Now, if you go into input settings. And select the pad, uh, select X input as the controller API and the controller. I only have one controller, so there's that. And uh, now you can bind the keys. I am actually clicking the right keys, uh, it's just these are the Xbox One, the Xbox keys, and they're reversed A is B and B is A, which is a bit confusing. Uh, but as you can see, you can set these up. Oh. and set the rumble. That's just uh, the controller. So you can, I, I set it at uh, 90, uh, about 80, 90%. And uh, you should be good. So if you close that, let's launch a game, let's say Breath of the Wild. I'm not sure how well this will run with the recording, uh, but Simu should now be able to uh, uh, use the controller with binding, and you can uh, rebind your keys and stuff. As you can see, it works. <laughs> for pressing the tilt, uh, for pressing the A button at least. I'll just wait for that to load. I don't have it on SSD, so it's a bit slow. As you can see, we're in game. Sticks work. All the buttons work. Excuse the lag. That's Simu lagging up. And uh, 
the trigger work and stuff. And gyro obviously works a lot better now. So that's Simu. Uh, but since that's not the only thing we can do, if uh, we launch Steam and go, for example, into big picture mode. I don't know if this is recording. As you can see, uh, using the controller, you can navigate big picture. Just the buttons are reversed. Uh, and it's rec it gets recognized as an Xbox controller. So that's that. That's uh, all for this video. I hope you found the setup more straightforward than the previous versions. And I, I hope you enjoy using this program. Thank you very much for watching.